We had some people coming in to clean the bottom floor of this building. You know, we t- clean it out. I guess somebody spotted something on a wall. Well, the wall was leaking. Okay, the well, wall was leaking. <laughs> Look, yeah. I mean, if you want to split hairs, yeah. there's been the wall has been draining for about six to ten years all right okay so we've got a weep every time it rains there's a, weeps, a puddle a weepy wall it's like chris Tim's eye it's got wall it never piece. stops it's a weepy <laughs> we had a lot of catholics come by a weepy wall yeah well they came it's interesting because i noticed this yesterday the, uh, this team came in to clean now we have fans blowing and stuff you know how there's they'll do monster that. fans yes and it's down in the basement of this building and i noticed yesterday there's an old ficus plant laying out next to the dumpster here. And big, I didn't even put two and two together, but it's no, out. No, I there. didn't either. I just saw yeah. it. So, Biggie said, Did you all see the ficus plant out by the dumpster? And we Hard said, to miss. Yeah, it's there. And apparently, the guys that came through and cleaned saw that sitting in an office and said, For God's sake, man, there's your problem. Get rid of this. <laughs> <laughs> you know you what this me? thing does? <laughs> what? The ficus is a biohazard. It's full of yeah. contagion. Good God. <laughs> they put on their mask and shit. Is that a fake ficus? <laughs> Well, get it out of here. <laughs> you mean to tell me in a world of COVIDs with deltas and That's lambdas right. and black right. molds that the ficus is the problem? Yeah, apparently they pointed right at Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> EPA <laughs> pulls up outside. Yeah, hazmat suits. <laughs> Don't shake it. <laughs> yeah, bad ficus is what we got yeah. going down there. There's other things. Well, it's, it's just lying out there yes, by yes. the door. I'm waiting for somebody to take it, but don't. <laughs> what are the odds it's still there at Christmas? Very likely. 50 50. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a real possibility. Also, uh, Chris Dim pointed this out. This is about changing uh, changes in the office place. We have Gmail as our email provider here. Changed mm-hmm. to it about two years ago. Uh, Biggie said the old people in the building won't like it. Chris Dim came in and said, ah, what's this new email? <laughs> <laughs> changed everything. Yeah. In one fell swoop, everything changed. And uh, they've updated it. And Chris Dim mentioned this two days ago, and now mine has updated as well. There used to be a big word on there that said compose if you want to send an email. Oh, is that not there anymore? No. When you get an update, you'll know. Chris Tim, yesterday or two days ago, Chris Tim goes, where's compose? I don't. I can't. I want to send an email. I can't send an email. There's no compose. So yesterday, mine updated. And compose went away. I'm sure you were mocking me behind I my was, back. I, I was. I know it. I was. And I was at home. <laughs> Old dude. And I was, look at tap, this guy. Tap, tap, And, uh. So mine updated without my knowledge, and all of a sudden I went to send an email, and there's no compose. <laughs> I had to stare at my wife. I called her. I was like, "How do I? Where's the? Where's the? Yeah. She's like, "Oh, there's a pencil on there now." And I said, "Right, where's, where's the pencil?" <laughs> <laughs> they pencil? hide it. It's a little, it's hidden a little pencil. picture of a pencil. Yeah. Why it's do they smaller. do that? It's small. Why? <laughs> that's that's the that's the thing you use the most on that email. Come that on, yes. to click on an email or yeah. to compose an email. Of course. <laughs> Why do they oh. have to hide it? Don't make other stupid it's smaller. features larger. It's smaller. With oh, a little, I want it big. It's a little pencil. Well, I noticed when it updated too. Mine is constantly now says like. Do you want to chat? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to chat with someone? Yeah. Yeah. No. Our chat features yeah. are now enabled. Are they? Yeah. Honestly, it's a little it's a little like a kind of like a prostitution vibe to me like <laughs> you want to chat? No. You want to go in a room? Hey, boy. Cuz if you look at the side it says rooms. You want to come in this room with me? You want to chat? No. No. Now, where's the GD composer? <laughs> That's right. As soon as it updates mm-hmm. it says that. Hey, you want to chat? You want to chat? You want to come here chat? You want to send him an email or you want to chat with him? <laughs> Not neither. <laughs> Anybody can send yeah. emails. Let's yeah. chat. Let's just chat. We've got a room just for you. Get a little more personal. You Why don't you two get a room together? You know, it's, it's you just, just I don't... chat all you want in your room. <laughs> it's so Screw your email. Wait you get a, yeah. You're going to update in the next couple of days. Yeah, it's well, I'm getting a new computer. Mm-hmm. So, well, oh, well, you're going to have it. it. You're gonna, oh, you wait. This is a little pencil up there now. My wife pointed. <laughs> she's like, there's a pencil. I was like, what's a pencil mm-hmm. for? She's like, well, that's how you write your that's email. With a pencil. And so that's how what you have to click on now. Man, it's just like... All the time with stuff, you know. Leave we, it alone. Just leave it alone. Well, yeah. Once you get used to something. And then Chris Tim told me this to report if you have a strange sound in your house. Yeah, I didn't print it. I shouldn't. Ha- oh. I should have because uh, it reminded me, Kelly, of you and your your house situation. Mm-hmm. And they said the headline was one sign that your house has snakes in the walls. And I said, clicked on it, and it <laughs> said, if you hear strange noises in your house and you can't figure out what they are. It's probably snakes. It's likely snakes. Oh, Lord. In the walls. We had it in the attic, the noise in the attic that we played a few times. That's a big snake, if it's snakes. But we still haven't figured out what this is. Had the man come out and everything. What if it was a snake wrestling with a 
umbilical. I mean, a, 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 a mouse. A, a mouse. Something. Yeah. Oh, now that's possible. Or a uh, an extension cord up there, and they're <laughs> yeah. going at it. They do. <sighs> that that would, my wife would be sent crazy. We were watching the news yesterday. The news. Inside edition. Maybe the snake's mm. Gmail updated. It's just trying to. <laughs> He's pissed off. <laughs> on it. Where's the compose? There was this. Uh, I just saw a video. It was from Australia, and uh, so there was a grocery store, and a woman was getting a spice off in the spice area, and as soon as she pulled the spice out, an enormous snake. I mean, huge. <laughs> oh, I heard about. Did that. you? I mean, this video. Yeah, the snake head. It's yes. Yeah, first, the head comes out, and then it's like halfway out into the aisle. It's so big. I mean. It's leaning out there. Where's the ethnic aisle? <laughs> <laughs> Is that all spice? Oh my god! And my wife said, "I could. I, she can never go to Australia because no. you know anything there no, no, could kill you." And it was in the it was in the baking aisle where the spices mm. are. And there's a snake. It had to be eight feet long. I mean, mm. it, it, it. I saw half of it, and it was still curled up next to the spices. Unbelievable. Well, it's. Is it winter time there? Or the, I guess it's trying to get warm, right? Yes. In Australia? Yeah, yeah I guess so. Because yeah. it is the end of winter is coming, mm-hmm. I guess, for them. That's right. This is the story that uh, Biggie says keeping him up nights. And I tell you, I'm not sure how to take this. The uh, new host of Jeopardy has been named Mike Richards. Mm. By the way, Dave, I'm watching Jeopardy backwards. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, don't talk to me about uh, <laughs> Robin Roberts. I just saw Robin Roberts oh, Jesus. last night. <laughs> he's, just, he's going back in time, watching older and older games. Here, here's what I've done. Uh, I didn't watch it. After Alex Trebek passed. You had I, a hard time with it. I had a hard time with it. I watched a couple, and all I would do is think, oh, Alex Trebek was so much better. You know, I just liked Alex. I watched a little Ken Jennings. But it made a comfortable me shoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, yeah. So I quit for a while. My wife and I used to play every night. And then we quit for a while, but about two weeks ago, I said, let's get back into it. So we started watching. With- it's time. <laughs> I'm ready if you're ready. So- let's chat. <laughs> it's what he would want. That's right. Let's go I- into a room and play Jeopardy. <laughs> Once they named the new host, I said, let's let's get back into the game again. You know, let's go ahead and do it. And so I started with Joe Buck. And worked, oh, yeah, you did go back. Worked my way through him. I, I got to some LeVar Burton. Mm-hmm. Worked my way through him. And now I'm back on Robin Roberts. And I liked her. I thought she was pretty good. Yeah, uh, she's all right. I thought she, I, I enjoyed her. I've only seen it once with her. But the guy who won, I thought he was cocky. Which one? It's this guy, it was probably a month ago. Okay, It's not the guy that's on there now. Oh. But the guy I just saw last night, it was his third win in a row, and he was real cocky about it. And I said, you should be ready to get your butt kicked by, yeah. by Matt Amodio, who's going to come yeah, up. Yeah, there's been sh- some champions in there I haven't cared for. I don't remember. I didn't like his facial. He, he'd be like, mm, I got yes, this one. Yes, I know who you're talking guy? about. Yeah, I know that And guy. I said, I said I'm going to be oh, around. He's got a puss on? Yeah, 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 yeah he puts a puss on. And I said, I can't wait. But I wa- think he's got an issue. I think he's got something wrong with him. Oh, God, you've been making fun of the infirm. Oh, <laughs> you've been no. making fun of the Because I did the same thing, no. and I was like, I think he might have, he's oh, brilliant. He but is. I think there's something going on with him, so I didn't make fun of him. Oh, I did. I know, I heard I you. Just That's going to cost you, ironically, the Jeopardy job. I can't get the Jeopardy job. Not now. now. I was just saying something like that. Well, I didn't. <laughs> What's wrong with him? <laughs> <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> What's that funny take you got over there, John? <laughs> oh, man, you may be right. Because I kept thinking he's got a puss on, and I'm getting ready to watch him lose. Because I know the new champion's been on for like 17 days. Right. So get ready. But I, you know, I'm going backwards in time. So I'm going Robin Roberts, and then I'll go to All right. whoever's before her. I go to Aaron Rodgers. Oz. Oz. I'll Blossom. Just see the, Blossom. I'll take them all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have been generally impressed with the guest hosts. I think they've done a pretty good job. All of them. You do them. good at it. They, they they serve it up right in front of you. I mean, you have to keep track of yeah. things. Who's got this and yeah. that, but. You don't have to go looking for the clue on your board. It right. pops up on a screen. Yeah. And I noticed. It's a nice backhand to compliment, Dave. <laughs> so. <laughs> you do okay. I mean, my my thing is. is it, right? oh, you could do it. Hell, I could do it. You, anybody could do it. <laughs> well, I noticed with Joe Buck, he would take a second. And you pointed this out, Dave. And LeVar Burton, especially. It would, like, when somebody would say an answer, it would take a second and a half before he could say, you're correct, because he's got to wait for the uh, check mark on his screen. Well, you know? it's that, or sometimes the answer is. Close enough, but different. Mm-hmm. And I think the judges are looking and talking in their ear yeah. and saying, hang on. Yeah. Now, they may edit this out later. Yeah, you may be right. And there's a break in there that, mm-hmm. that you might miss for them to reply. Well, here's the point that we're getting to today. Mike Richards is the new host of Jeopardy. He starts in roughly a month. He will become the full-time host of the syndicated show with Mayim Bialik doing the, the special shows on well, ABC. you think they'd be shooting him soon. I, I think they would probably shooting him now yeah. or, or very soon. Anyhow. Uh, two things have come out about him. First, when he was executive producer of The Price is Right, one of the women that was a model on The Price is Right said she got pregnant and he didn't handle it well. He wanted to hide her or remove her from the game, and she felt shamed by it, and it was a workplace that she didn't want to be in. It was described as hostile. Hostile workplace. 
So he apologized, but he said that doesn't really represent who I am. I love pregnant women. Right. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. I like it better than unpregnant women. Okay, right. So <laughs> he, you know, so he sort of got by that hurdle a week and a half ago. Well, now the ringer.com has done a deep dive on his history and he used to host a podcast called the random show random is spelled r-a-n-d-u-m-b random oh, he was show. a host he was a host yes and he was on this is 2011 when he was on that show 11 and 12 he was executive producer of the price is right in 2013 and 14 and then he moved over to jeopardy now when he was on the random show podcast as a host he referred to his female co-host as a booth hoe. And we have the we have the clip now. Mm. The two are talking about jobs she had applied for. Beth got a job being a was it a booth hoe? What is a booth, babe? A booth Whatever. a booth slut is someone who dresses <laughs> up in very provocative provocative clothes. All right, so he called her a booth hoe and a booth, booth babe. Well, she said booth babe and then mm. he said booth slut. Mm. So he's this is a female co-host now. All right. So there's that. <laughs> Then slut really cuts through. That's, okay, right. Yeah, that's a word that really jumps. <laughs> Ho, somewhat, and then yeah, slut, baby, babe, yeah, babe, yeah. yeah, no problem. Yeah, slut. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, we've called you a pickle slut. You have, and pickleball slut. Don't think it doesn't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> if the shoe fits. I mean, I'm sorry, but that's a, yeah. a problem. Anyhow. Then in another episode, he is talking about swimsuits, and he's comparing people wearing women wearing one piece swimsuits. Two models and women on the beach wearing two-piece bikinis and says this again to his co-host. But they all look terrible in the picture. Yeah, they look fat and, out, and like not good in the picture. It's bad. Oh, my God. You look great. Hilarious. You look like a Sports Illustrated model, and then you've got one-piece Malones on either side of you, <laughs> which are like, just horrible. I... One-piece Malones. That never caught on, did it? No. I don't, I don't really know what that is. A one-piece one Malone, does that look like a, what, a guy or something? I think what it's a... kind of just a, I think he's saying one they're wearing one piece bathing suits. And the last name Malone. Last name just for you. Okay. Yeah. I think it's the way Biggie calls you like um Yeah, I call you like Johnny Paychecks. Yeah. You know, something like you know, just kind of make it up. Or Johnny Moneybags. Wait a yeah. minute. Yeah. Do you call me Johnny Paychecks? Oh, oh yeah, when you're not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Johnny Moneybags. Johnny Paychecks. Yeah, see Johnny Paycheck was already a country singer. Yeah. yeah. Well your your colleague down the hall called me Johnny McMansion there for a minute. That, yeah, see, that hurt. That, that's, yeah. that's what he does. That's he's he's doing the same thing. He's yeah. just making it up. Yeah, he makes it. Okay, so a one-piece Malone. I think one yeah. piece, I, that, to me, it sounded like that, one-piece Malone. Oh, uh, a couple of one-piece Malones <laughs> over here. Like one-shot Johnson. <laughs> mm. Okay, so now. But I'm not sure. The Ringer did this whole piece deep dive. Of, and deep dive. They had this audio. They had the stuff on The Price is Right. And this is the author of the article that appeared on that website. Morale at Jeopardy is, is very low right now, but I think the reception to Richards as EP and especially now as a host has, has not necessarily been a positive one. So overnight, Mike Richards has apologized again and said this was intended to be a series of irreverent conversations between two longtime friends on a podcast who had a history of joking around, doesn't represent who I am. He says his attempts to be funny and provocative are not acceptable, and he has removed the episodes, and he has pledged to live up to his obligations now as a role model. This is 10 years ago mm -hmm. now that he did these episodes. So I feel like if you're going to dredge up stuff from 10 years ago, you can get just about anybody now. You know, you Because he's doing a show. He, I think he's telling the truth where he's trying to push the envelope, and now it, you can get these mm -hmm. little clips of him, and all of a sudden you can't be the host of Jeopardy. You're not thinking about being the host of Jeopardy 10 years no. ago. So what do you think? Is this going to cost him his job? And sh I don't think it should. I don't. I think don't think should. this will. But I think if things keep dripping out, it might. That's what I'm worried about. Is it yeah. just there's a little more here and there every yeah. time. I mean, mm -hmm. One one piece Malone's not going to cost him the job. Mm -hmm. Using the no. word slut, you know, on a podcast probably won't. Yes. You know, I mean, there's probably video of Alex Trebek. And with a cocktail here and there. Well, he was drunk on one show. High Rollers. Yeah. He, High Rollers. He did the last week of High Rollers. It's just. It's so readily available now. Mm -hmm. You know, this guy puts it on a podcast from 10 years ago, and somebody can go find that, mm -hmm. you know, and go get it. And he doesn't think to erase it, I'm sure. He doesn't even remember doing it, probably. Well, what was it last week that he, uh, oh, the pregnant. The price yeah. is right. The price is right. Yeah. But, but I feel like it's, if it keeps happening over, you know, it's not just one incident. Mm -hmm. If it shows a pattern. Well, as of now, if you were the king of Jeopardy and you had a decision to make, I would keep him. As of right now, I would. I, I think so. But yeah, I mean, he might weather the storm. 
you know, when when the new shows come up, mm-hmm. this will bubble back up. I yeah, think. Yeah. When when his new episodes hit the air. Tara is a P. Once you emailed and said, "I wanted to say something about Mike Richards. I wouldn't apologize for something that occurred ten years ago. As people, we grow, we become more educated, we become more cultured. This is what's supposed to happen. People uh, always preach change, but then chastise someone when they mm-hmm. do change." So why should he have to apologize? That's a fair point. You know, uh, yeah. the comedian Seth Rogen, comedian actor, I mm-hmm. think I think he's a pretty sharp guy. You mm-hmm. know, someone was talking to him a couple months back about some of the things that he had done or some of his movies that he had made. Mm-hmm. And he's, I, I don't apologize for him. He just said some things just age better. Uh, agreed. Which is, a, I think that's a pretty and differently. good way of looking at yeah. it. Yeah. And you're a different person 10 years mm-hmm. later than you are 10 years ago. And uh, she says, you know, if we keep doing this, people aren't going to have incentive to grow and learn. It's like this gotcha thing where it's like, I can go back and catch you doing something when mm-hmm. you were 30. And it also depends on the vein you were doing it in. I mean, that's a podcast. Different but um, venue. You know, I right. mean, Howard Stern gets away with that kind of stuff. All the time. Used to. Used to. Used to more. That's right. Used to. Um, so it depends on how you do it. Mm-hmm. And but he was hired to push the envelope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was. But was uh, he Stern. executive producer when he was doing this podcast? No. no. He was doing he his was own not. podcast yeah. in 2011. How and old is, is Richard's? 43, mid 40, 40s. Mid 44, I believe, something like that. So, I mean, he's, he's old enough then to know Alex, better. Right? Alex was hosting, I mean, they knew, they probably knew about his podcast when they hired him. You think? Well, I would think they probably well, knew something about, it. you know, he was probably on his resume. But can you listen to every single podcast? No, you can't. You know, that's, that's, well, and honestly, that's what somebody went back. That's what someone has. And they, yeah, they went back and listened. I mean, this is, mm-hmm. this is to me is a gotcha type story. Yeah. Obviously. Well, meanwhile, another fan poll was taken. Who do you want as host? And uh, overwhelmingly, LeVar Burton. Yeah. <laughs> he's not any he'll good. He'll never he's he's not not good. good. These people are going down with the he'll shit. He'll always be yeah. the host in absentia. I mean, they yeah. love LeVar Burton. I don't know what it is about him. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's very a charming guy, but he's just He's not, not as good a host as, no, he's not. as the other guys. He's really not. No, he's an actor. He's a script guy. I know you grew up. Most of the, a lot of people grew up with him. That's why they love him. He's Must their have. version of Mr. Rogers. Must mm-hmm. have, because they absolutely love. But game show hosts are different. Different. They are different. Yeah, and he's. Did you ever watch any of his episodes? He has a real. Yeah, he he's different on there than, than the other folks. He seems more nervous, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't know something about his vocal style didn't quite work. Well, Dem and I have said it before. He's a script guy. Yes, I mean he right. he's used to yeah. plays and movies, and that's a completely different animal. Well, it just is. In the latest poll, he won hands down. It Who was, was second in the latest poll. Ken Jennings was second okay. in the latest, and then Mike Richards was third. And uh, this is after some of this has come out about But Mike. pre pre podcast random po- po- post <laughs> price is right post price is right pre random <laughs> this guy's got like a 60% chance of hanging in there <laughs> if something else comes out about it yeah. he's in trouble you know and they could go and and work with Mayim Bialik and say okay we need yeah, you full time to do this <laughs> I think those are two in the running if anybody yeah if, she'd if, be if next. Richards gets knocked out and a P1 who says uh, uh, you all talk about the Jeopardy host sometimes I wanted to let you know my brother was a contestant on the $25,000 Pyramid with Dick Clark in 1987. Said cool. It was, said it was the best experience of his life. Who were the celebs? He was partnered with the lady who played Nikki on Young and the Restless. We just talked about her yesterday. <gasps> oh, I called her a bad name. I know. <laughs> like Mike Richards. You, you did. You called her a slut. You did. Her character. <laughs> what you call her a slut hoe? Yeah. Uh, stripper. No. Stripper hoe. Mm-hmm. Oh, stripper slut. A one-piece Malone over here. <laughs> That's what she played. She was a stripper. Oh, you Look at you, potty mouth Malone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like in garbage time yesterday, you called her a slut. I did. Her character. Well, this man's brother was partnered with that slut hoe and won $11,000 on a right. trip to Hawaii and says that he even kept in touch with Dick Clark after the show because at the time he lived in California and a neighbor was suffering from ill health, was a former secretary for Clark, and Dick Clark could not have been nicer. The entire run. I believe it. I do, too. Do you know who the other celeb was? Because there's always two, right? They said he won the money with the lady who played Nikki, but he didn't say uh, the other celebrity. It's got... I'm sure it's out there. Yeah. I have to go see it, right? Maybe Nipsey Russell. (laughs) Nipsey was always big. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Somebody woke up here. I said said something that woke up. You didn't nickname your Siri Nipsey Russell. (laughs) (laughs) 